I feel like you have to have that teacher preparation before you enter the classroom. It's so much more to going into the classroom and saying, oh, I can teach these kindergarten or these first graders one plus one. It's so much more to it. Like I said, it's getting to know the students, getting to know their background, finding out their learning styles. Uh, get it, just, it's just so much into a classroom management. I mean, you know, and you have to learn and understand. I mean, even knowing their developmental um, stages, like you wouldn't have first grader, first graders writing a five page essay, you know, you know, it's just like, you, you have to know their developmental stages. You don't, you also wouldn't want, let's see, third graders doing ABCs, you know, you, it's a lot of stuff that goes into it and people just think that, oh, I can just go in there and it's easy. And then even with that, you still have to know how to do lesson plans. That's very important because you want to make sure that your students are growing. You also want to make sure your lesson plan is meeting the needs of all the learners in the classroom. So it's a lot that goes into it. Um, grading, um, especially with writing. I have, I have first grade, so people think, oh, first grade is easy to grade. Writing, you have to really think and, um, and look at their writing and see what is going wrong. You can't just like grade a paper and be like, okay, all right, you have a, a 77, you're fine. No, you have to actually look in the paper and you have to determine what is going right and what is going wrong. You have to figure out how can they grow or if they are um, at the standard, if they're at uh, level four, then how can I push them to the next level? So you always want to even challenge your students who are doing great in the classroom. So I feel like it's a lot to go into it and I feel like um, you should have some sort of teacher preparation before you go into the classroom.